Sorry fellas, now I've been caught with half charged batteries, so I don't know whether that clip's actually got to the uh, got to the card or not. So all that talk it may have been had some relevance and some import importance. Um, yeah, so what I was just saying, what colour is that? It's all like a green, almost a greeny black sort of look to it. Now, yeah, so that's with the uh, that's the Super K iron. So uh, and notice it it's not rusting well so far it's not rusting whether it's going to actually rust over time that's been the goal the dream for 20 more years or so since the since the 90s i could never get to a stage and then a, a few years ago i got to that stage i could stop the iron from rusting but he couldn't grow a bloody cp in it so it was like again a case of one step forward, two steps back, sort of thing. You know, oh, I've got got part of my goal. I stopped the iron from rusting, but fuck, it's not doing anything. You know, so uh, yeah, it's uh, now it's a case of uh, I don't know if that was the case of the chemistry failing me, but I thought the chemistry was rather successful that it it stopped the iron from rusting. But now, hopefully, it's all come it's all come together, and we're going to get some really we're going to get a few surprises from this one, I reckon. <laughs> I can't wait for the flytrap season to start this year. Oh, and it's only going to be in a couple of months' time. So when these are maturing, I'll be ready to uh, <laughs> try a flytrap on it. Oh, I think we, we might get a few surprises. <laughs> I mean, I can easily whack up a uh, high bore on um, uh, line and um, see if we can get a blue fly. Oh, gee, can we get a blue fly? I mean, a, a blue fly trap has surely got to be a front cover photograph on CPN. But I want to get the red roots. That's what I want to get on the front cover. Uh, and I also want to get the banana when the uh, the stipulate bud reflexes back and you get roots coming out from the center of the stipulate bud. I've actually seen that because I didn't know how to get um, infinite focus with my bloody VHS camera back then. That was before. Because none, that's the irony, isn't it? They just didn't tell you in the instruction book. The most important thing in, in photography is focus, isn't it? Uh, and then after that comes your, your colour, you know, which we've been trying to struggle to get true to life colour. And then after that probably comes your um, getting your one-to-one, -one, your wide angle business. So you, what you see is what you get. So it's in focus, it's got the right colour and it's exactly what you see with your eyes, you know. One, two, three sort of thing, you know. But anyway, we'll see how we go. Well, if this is maybe when this is successful, I'll be able to afford to buy a bloody new camera, you know. Be able to start growing things in bloody home tissue culture. And uh, people say, Oh, I want to do that too. Um, and I'll say, Well, are you going to make it worth my while? You know, one, plane tickets, please. Thesis second, book third, you know. Thank you very much, you know. Um, I think that's the way I want to plan it out. You know, Stuart McPherson, make me an offer I can't refuse, you know, um, sort of thing. No, no, that's not good enough. I can refuse that. <laughs> Come on, Stuart. Open your checkbook. That's a good boy. Yeah, Mum. Come on, Stuart. Open your checkbook. Come on. Do you, want, do you really want me to start doing some basic mathematics on the back of a postage stamp? Stuart, do you really want me to do it? Do you really want me to do 187 IQ basic mathematics on the back of the stem? Because um, other people will start opening their eyes if I do start doing some basic mathematics on the back of a postage stamp uh, regarding red fur and natural history. Um, I think anyone else could probably do it as well, but you know. Uh, so. Uh, uh, I haven't been too impressed with the. your version of the Tim Bailey uh, tra transfer, I'll uh, put it that way. I mean, I haven't seen any new information that uh, has rocked my socks, you know, knocked my socks off or anything, rocked my world, you know, because I basically think this is what should be in the book, but of course, as I said, like other people, I've been going, going around in circles for 10 years and um, I just wasn't there at the right time sort of thing, but um, yeah. Maybe I will end up doing the ecology thing, but uh, as I said, plane tickets first, thesis second, the book third, I would think, and I'm probably going to be two, at least two books, I think. Uh, one life, one plant, the Venus flytrap, one life, one plant, the glid, I think. I think that's the way it's going to be. Well, I'm sure you love that, you know, this is this is natural history. Wouldn't you rather have two extra books on your shelf rather than one? 
I think that's the way you like it, isn't it, uh, Stu? I think we've worked that out, haven't we, Stu? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm an Australian, Stu. I'm taking the piss, OK? You understand? Don't take it personally. To be an Australian is to take the piss, OK? If you don't take the piss, you're not Australian. Do you understand? Sometimes I wonder. You know, as I said, we, first we take the piss with our so-called guerrilla prime minister. And after that comes the bloody mini French Revolution. So we give him a chance, we take the bloody piss out of him and then watch out, you know. You know, we'll be dragging Chris Pine across the bloody, and Joe Hockey across the bloody lawns of Parliament House to have their heads lopped off by some Gillard teens. Gillard teeny bobbers. And they'll be saying, who, me? What, what? Uh, yeah, I reckon that would be like that, you know. Well, why are you doing this? <laughs> why are you doing this? Yes, I think that's, uh, it'll be that sort of situation. But anyway, time to change hands and go to the copper, you know I think? We'll see. So, uh, yeah. Right, well that's the iron done and hopefully we'll get a, a nice lawn or crop of cyanophyta growing in it and maybe it'll grow really up. Like really luxuriantly and if it does and we start growing the plants in it then I'll just go straight to the, the the double the iron and high boron which I know how to do as I said because I've done the work that's why it's so easy you know I can whack, I can whack up a new line like that because I've done the work that's what it's all about the scientific method you go from the accuracy part to the precision and the precision is just whacking out another line all your levels are already known because you've done the work do you get that? Anyway, I'll put the coating on it and wreck it in and I'll put the excess to one corner of that thing and I'll film it at the end. Okay, over and out.